so here's the larynx and the larynx um, continues as the trachea so it becomes the trachea and the trachea continues down into the thoracic cavity the esophagus is um, fixed to the back side of the trachea here but if you work your way down the trachea is going to split into the right and left primary bronchi or main bronchi so this would be the very short right bronchus these would be secondary bronchi then here um, and so that's very nicely shown and the cat's lung lobes are a little different than the human in the human you have three lobes on the right side two on the left if you add a lobe to each side that's what a cat has so a cat has a superior a middle and a pretty large inferior right lobe along with a smaller accessory lobe which is kind of in the middle here sitting on the mid portion of the diaphragm but that goes with the right side and then on the left side you have a superior a middle and a pretty large inferior lobe of the left lung so the cat has four and three um, this membrane on the inside of the chest cavity here is going to be um, parietal pleura and covering the lungs is the visceral pleura and between the two the space is going to be the pleural cavity one final thing making the diaphragm uh, which is this large muscle here, contract. I'm hoping that you have phrenic nerves. Do you guys have phrenic nerves? Oh, oh no, I don't think we have phrenic nerves. So we'll have to find a cat that has phrenic nerves. Um, they often get cut in the dissection. Um, so we do not have, this is part of a phrenic nerve right here <laughs> on the cat's right side, and then we're missing the one over here. So we'll find a good cat with phrenic nerves.